Emmanuel, élevé dans sa famille, est un vide. Une exploration active. Le passer d'une main à l'autre, le porter en bouche, par exemple. microscope at neural tissue going down through an area of the brain. We can use these microscopic images to reconstruct the three-dimensional layout of the neurons and really see the intricate and intertwining patterns that they make. These connectivity patterns throughout the brain underlie all neural function and are responsible for everything from controlling your muscles when you tie your shoes to how you feel about your family. Understanding these patterns is a massive ongoing project for neuroscientists everywhere and can lead to breakthroughs for everything from consciousness to depressive disorders and schizophrenia. Par exemple, Véronique, également anorexique, manifeste son refus en écartant ses mains d'un geste d'évitement. It's largely where our emotions and feelings of fear are generated. This may not seem like much, but it's really important for understanding so much about the brain. That's why we, as scientists, keep pushing the envelope to tackle these very complicated questions. Every year, every day, we learn so much more. This is the most exciting aggressive time for neuroscience that there has ever been. Babies this young are extremely responsive to the emotions and the reactivity and the social interaction that they get from the world around them. In the still face experiment, what the mother did was she sits down and she's playing with her baby who's about a year of age. I need my girl. They're working to coordinate their emotions and their intentions, what they want to do in the world. And that's really what the baby is used to. And then we ask the mother to not respond to the baby. The baby very quickly picks up on this, and then she uses all of her abilities to try and get the mother back. She smiles at the mother. She points because she's used to the mother looking where she points. Yeah. The baby puts both hands up in front of her and says, what's happening here? She makes that screechy sound at the mother, like, come on, why aren't we doing this? Even in this two minutes when they don't get the normal reaction, they react with negative emotions, they turn away, they feel the stress of it, they actually may lose control of their posture because of the stress that they're experiencing. It's a little like the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good is that normal stuff that goes on, that we all do with our kids. The bad is when something bad happens, but the infant can overcome it. After all, when you stop the still face, the mother and the baby start to play again. The ugly is when you don't give the child any chance to get back to the good there's no reparation, and they're stuck in that really ugly situation.